right guys, so I'm getting packed for Boston. It's feeling very real now, so I thought I would just go over what I'm gonna be wearing for race day as well as I have my nutrition here, so I'll briefly cover that as well. All right, so some of the extras that I'm gonna have like at the beginning of the race, just to stay warm that I probably won't be wearing throughout. I'm gonna share that. So I have this ear warmer, which I may or may not wear the entire time. We'll just see how the weather is, but I'm definitely gonna be wearing that in the beginning. I have a rain jacket that I love. This is from Topo Designs. It's super, super thin. So if it does end up raining, even drizzling, um, this will be perfect to wear and stay dry, as dry as possible. A hat, I don't typically wear a hat, but if it is raining at all, then I'm definitely going to want to be wearing a hat. Um, so I'll bring, I'm bringing that. Some throwaway type gloves that really, if I end up having to get rid of them on the course, that's fine, or I'll just give them to my family if I see them. But absolutely, um, on a colder day, I'm usually starting with gloves anyways. Uh, but it's high of 55, partly sunny right now, and in the middle of the day, I'm not starting to like close to between 10, 30 and 11, I need to double check, but um, it's gonna be pretty warm there. So um, I also got this from CIM, which I think is kind of a good throwaway thing to wear just to keep warm at the start of the race. But we are gonna be able to have a check bag that we can have extra items in at the beginning of the race and then check it right before we start. But I'll probably still want a throwaway layer as I'm standing in the corrals waiting. I don't know how long it's gonna be. So that would be good for this. I'll probably have like a long sleeve t-shirt or something as well. All right, as far as clothes that I'm gonna be wearing for sports bra, I have this one, this new sports bra that has a foam pocket in the back. I recently ordered from a brand called Sanita that I've been wanting to order from. It's a woman's owned company. Just really, really pleased with all the products that I got from them, very high quality. And I've been wanting a foam pocket bra that had um, a lower neck, not a higher neck. And so this was perfect for that. It's great. Excited about that. And then tank top, this one um, wearing from Athleta. I tried on a couple from Athleta as well as Lulu and this one fit the bill and I've worn it and practiced in it for, or in a long run. I've talked about these shorts, but Bayleaf, these are my go-to. I know it's like a no-name brand. I've tried on much more expensive brands and these I keep coming back to. They just fit well, they don't write up. They have all the pockets that I need, the side pocket, a pretty large one in the front. I wouldn't mind if there was a pocket in the back, so maybe someday, um, but otherwise, going with those. I have a black pair too, so I might wear the black, we'll see. Um, electronics, my Garmin 455. This is my go-to road racing watch. I have a Garmin Phoenix as well, but this one's just super light and really all I need, it's awesome. Uh, my Aftershocks headphones. I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing these or not for the Boston Marathon. I know there's going to be so many spectators and crowds that I'm gonna be taking in, but I may just wear them just in case if there is sort of a lull or I just need to kind of be in my own head or zone, then I might be doing that. So we'll bring those. Um, sunglasses. I just got sent this new pair from Tifosi, which I've been really wanting to try. So thank you for sending me these. Um, but I have heard that these don't scratch because the polarization is like kind of inside as, as, um, as opposed to on the outside. And as much as I love Gooder and Knockaround, I have both of these and they scratch like crazy unless you take like super good care of them. I do not. I throw my sunglasses around everywhere. So I do have this current pair my newest pair that's pretty good. So I'll go with one of these. I'm sure the Tifosis will fit just fine. I don't know if I'll need to wear them anyway. I don't know if the sun's gonna be out, but we're definitely bringing those. Uh, my favorite socks. These are the Belega Weightless Hidden Dry. I just got a new pair because I couldn't find the other one of these. And then I have another pair that one has a hole in them, but I did find these. So I might go with these because these have been washed and dried. So these might fit a little bit better, but bringing both. So yes, awesome socks. Um, Aqua 4. For chafing, put that all over, slather it everywhere. Absolutely need that. Uh, oh, I forgot this. <laughs> I ordered this entire box of ponchos just in case it rains for my entire family. I mean, even in 2018, I saw some people running in a poncho like the entire time. So hopefully that won't be me, but I am going to be prepared. Uh, my water bottles that I use, uh, these are them from Fitly, love these, they fit in the pockets of my shorts. So one will be complete water, the other one is going to be a tailwind mixture, highly concentrated. So I'm not gonna go over bit by bit my nutrition hydration plan. If you guys wanna see what I'm doing, you can check out what I did for CIM. This is going to be very, very similar. So this is gonna end up having about 300 calories in it with the tailwind. And then I'm gonna be taking probably five to six gels as well. So maybe one more than I did at CIM. So I'm going to be taking two, two caffeine, um, 
maybe two, two regular and one electrolyte uh, or two electrolyte, one regular, and I'll probably have one right before the race starts as well. I'm gonna have these salt stick fast chews with me just in case if I start feeling cramping coming on, these work pretty immediately. They're really, really good. So highly recommend having these. I mean, you absolutely have room in your pockets. Why not throw them in there? Okay, and then the very best, most fun part is the shoes. So here's the deal, guys. I wore the Nike Vaporfly 2s for my last two marathons last year, and they were excellent. But I heard about this awesome deal from a friend at the Nike clearance store. We have one close by us that the Alpha Flies and the Vapor Flies were on sale there. So I went and sure enough, they had the Alpha Flies. And I'm kind of embarrassed to tell you guys this because I know you're going to be jealous. But I got these for $100, which is absolutely insane and crazy for how much these are selling for right now. Like regular flight price, they're still $275, I think. This color might be on sale for like 220, but yeah, a steal, like crazy excited about them. Um, but I've still kind of gone back and forth on if I'm gonna wear these or these. So I think I'm gonna be going with the Alpha Fly just because I've been researching a lot and they are a marathon shoe, especially for a marathon that's really hilly and doesn't have a lot of turns, which Boston is both of those things. So I think I'm gonna Try something new, go with the Alpha Fly. I have worn them a couple times for some speed miles and they felt really, really good. And I think I'm just gonna go for it and try it. And I'm really, really excited about that. So that's that. That is what I'm bringing to Boston guys to wear for race day, to stay warm on the starting line. And hopefully I have everything I need. I can't wait to be there. I just wanna get started. And as soon as we get on the plane, I will just be happy and feel calm and ready to go. So thanks for sticking with me through this journey, guys. We are almost there and I will catch you after the Boston Marathon.